Yep, she's gonna like this one. For sure, she's going, oh, definitely, definitely this one. Uh, hey pal. What's up? What you doing? ARs for women. You're gonna do an AR video for women. Yeah. Just let me go grab my hoodie and seven and a half inch, really Clint. Just shorter. No. Good call. Good call. Let's let's have Katie talk about this one. Hi guys, welcome back to Classic Firearms. I am Katie, and I'm Clint. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what are we excited to talk about today? ARs for women, and Clinton is obviously here to tell us all what we're doing wrong. It's not the case. I just, I have some knowledge, and I, and I want you to learn, and you've been doing an excellent job at it, but you're not wrong. Uh, so <laughs> so let's, let's hop into it. Um, you, this entire video is, is all based around a woman's perspective on AR-15s. That's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. <laughs> And so we've got a few of them laid out here and we really just want to kind of gain some insight as to what works for you because I know what works for me. It's don't definitely- it. Don't say it, don't say it. I'm not gonna say, say it. I'm not gonna say, it. It. I'm not gonna say it, the Mark 18. I'm just saying, I know what works for me and I know that's not ideal for you. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> so we're gonna take the knowledge, the insight that you have and we're gonna apply that to today's video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start off with something and I want to gain your thoughts on the OG, the Colt M16. The gun that ultimately is still in service today with the United States Armed Forces, 20 inch barrel, non adjustable stock, obviously, terrible A2 pistol grip. What do you, what do you think, honestly? They didn't have women in mind when they designed it. <laughs> no, not at all, no. Just in general, like it's so, like, I mean, I can make it work. Yeah. But it's it's not ideal. So in the in the Marines, it's it's funny that you said they didn't have women in mind when they um, designed it. Uh, <laughs> with my unit, if we get women at our unit that are about your height and lower, uh, because you are actually taller for women, just throwing that out there, I don't just know what some of these comments were, right? Uh, but we actually issue them the M4 because it does have the adjustable stock, shorter barrel, and it's something that they actually prefer and feel more comfortable with, right? Because this is a little bit more of a, um, let's just say clumsy to use if you're not of a little bit larger frame. So I get that. I, I totally so get that. So is this what you, or do you have the M4? I get, get the option, but I typically take the M16 if okay. I'm gonna go for the, if I'm gonna be shooting our known distance range mm -hmm. because I'm shooting out to 500 yards, this is naturally just gonna do better. That makes sense. Yep. So, uh, but that's that's what I'm issued. Now, yeah. with that being said, how about the weight on it? How does that feel? It's actually not as heavy as I would have imagined with all the bulkiness to it. And then, and then you get my Mark 18 in your hands with the the pack the and the light, all and the, the yeah. things, and you're just like, "What is going on?" Yeah, it's you, heavy. Yeah, I know. Okay, so the M16, you could make it work. Oh yeah. But not your favorite. Not ideal. No. Now we've got a couple others laid out here and this is again the 20 inch barrel. Mm -hmm. We've got a 16 inch barrel on the Fostec Raptor. This is their stealth series. And what I thought was kind of funny whenever you were playing with this guy, and this is set up, we had Katie try out a couple of different optics and just kind of how this gun feels. Now, first of all, this is light. <laughs> this is uncomfortably light for me. Yeah. I need something obnoxious and heavy and this ain't it. No. Uh, this feels fantastic. And this is one of the ones that you picked out because yeah. Well, Fostec is known for their quality, durability, and also too, oh, yeah. their lightweight guns. Yeah. Tell and us I about this. love the lightweight because <laughs> when I'm off target and I miss, yeah. so after recoil, yeah. it's so much easier to put it back on target. Heavier guns, it's just like you're, you know, I mean, you're just, you're sitting there for like five minutes trying to readjust. Okay. And this, you just boop, and you're good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, that's fair. Also, this weighs less than six pounds. <laughs> Well, maybe not with the optic on it. No, probably no, still I, with the optic yeah, on it. I'm still, I but think, it weighs yeah. less than six pounds. Obviously, you know, triggers and stuff, they're yeah. gonna change out a little bit for, but overall, it's one of those things you can't, you can't, you can't just see it and be like, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. that looks light. Can like, I, can I tell you why I was surprised that you actually chose this rifle though? Because of this. 
Because it, yeah, actually, because it, it just looks I knew it. so aggressive. I was like, she's yeah. not going to go for that. But you did. Why? Because it's like none other. Like, it's just, it just, it speaks it's for a cool itself. It's, it's a cool, awesome. it's a cool factor. It's isn't awesome. It? Yeah. Like, that's you exactly look at it, it you're just like, mm, that's, that's, what, that's what it comes down to. It's a, it's a look thing. Here. That's bad. Well, not, it doesn't come down to looks. Although, no. obviously, I do like OD Green. <laughs> yes. Yes. But no, it's just, it's light. I mean, if I don't know if you guys can see this, but like, just all of it, it's just so, yeah. it's so cool. So everything about it's skeletonized. Mm -hmm. That's that's one thing that lends to its uh, weight Being reduction. White, yeah. Yep. Uh, the I think this is the Type One rail uh, mm -hmm. that does have the uh, what's happening up front here <laughs> and how it's expanded. You know, it's kind of like a crown. Yeah. Oh. And every woman wants to think they're a queen. So. <sighs> that's cute. <laughs> so. That makes sense though, but for a competitive shooter, mm -hmm. what the point of that is, is so you can actually brace that up against a wall or something like that. You can stab right into it. Or among other things, if you so choose. But anyway, now why did you go for this optic? And we tried out what I thought you were gonna be a little bit more comfortable with, uh, with something a little bit more compact and also offer you two different solutions here. You have your magnified solution and also your red dot sitting on top. But you actually chose the Night Force, mm -hmm. Uh, a tacker here, LPVO, over this. Can you explain why you chose, you decided you like this optic over this? The eye relief is number one. The eye relief on that sucker, I mean, you have to get like, it's short. face into yeah, it. Yeah, it's short. And on here, even zoomed in, yeah. like you're still back here and you're good. You yeah. still have clear vision. So, personally, I think. Because at first I was like, no, I don't want to put something that big and bulky on such a lightweight gun. But yeah. honestly, because it is so light, you can put something heavier on it and it's still lighter than most AR 15s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Solid points. And we got the Scalar Works mount on with the Night Force Attacker here. And I am a huge fan of this optic. I am definitely a big fan of it. Now, what about whenever you try to just get a sight alignment or sight picture with the red dot? How, did you not like that either? Well, you had to take like your head completely off and then readjust. So you're like, it wasn't just like pop, pop. It was pop and then pop and adjust and. And then look. So it wasn't. Much. It wasn't as natural to you. No, and me being okay. left eye dominant, it took uh, way too long. I see. I see. <laughs> it took way too long. Uh, one thing that might be able to help with that. Again, I'm not left eye dominant uh, in that sense. I'm still trying to turn into an adult and figure it out. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there one day. You're, you're doing well. <laughs> Uh, we could probably we took we took a couple of videos of her at the range with the DDM4 that we're about to talk about here in just a moment, and you were at the 50 yard line uh, with the condensed C zone target with the red dot the T2 that you have, and all I wanted you to do was to be able to get on target uh, two shots as as quickly as you mm -hmm. can, and you kind of impressed me uh, because your very first drill you got a 2.12 seconds. I was like, that's that's pretty good. I, and then it just went downhill from there. Well, you got 2.48 afterwards, and then I think you started getting in your own head, like, oh, I got this, I'm yeah. gonna do it. And then you were like, on target, miss. Yep, Ugh. every you, single time. And then you started getting frustrated. I got too excited. Yeah, and then, <laughs> yep. And then you started getting frustrated, and I was like, okay, all right, hey, slow it down. Yeah. Let's get back into the rhythm of things, you know. Um, but if you were to try to use the red dot on top of the ACOG here, from what you're saying is, I don't think that you would be able to get as quick a follow-up shot because you're not getting an actual cheek weld, you're right. not getting a perfect side alignment every time. Because if you're using this optic here, you're kind of doing this number, yeah. right? You're not actually here, you're here. And so I can see why that would be a little bit more uncomfortable for you. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan. No, <laughs> I get that. Uh, but everything else about this Fossack, like I said, I just thought it was gonna be too aggressive for your liking. But at the end of the day, you saw it and you're like- My middle name is aggressive. <laughs> It's Have fair. you not heard any of the comments? Yeah, if you guys saw the SHOT Show coverage where we were at DS Arms and he had the axes out, that's what Katie got excited about. Never mind the beautiful Mark 12 clone, never mind the fallow, <laughs> uh, the battle axe. <laughs> Dangerous. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so this is the 16 inch guy. Yes, uh, but again, this is one of those things that you can't just see. You yeah. need to feel how light the Fostec is. I can agree with that. Like the, you, it's the, one of those things that you just can't. Yeah. I mean, it looks good, but the moment you do get it in your hands, and I, and I agree with that, the ergonomics behind this guy, the thinner rail, I mean, you can really get down on this thing and just run it. And on top of that, it does have an echo trigger, which is a lot of fun. All right. Now we're getting into your gun. Yeah. The one that you ultimately decided this is the one that I like quite a bit. By the way, 
Not sponsored by Daniel Defense whatsoever. No. Very proud that Katie here found the DDM4 V7 SLW and was like, ooh, I want that. First of all, I think it was the color. Maybe. Yeah. I just want you guys to know that Clint handed me a different Daniel Defense gun. I don't remember what it was. It was a And I looked at him and I was like, nah. It was this one. Hold on. I was like, it was, next. It, it was this and four right here. It was this one. I, I've already got the uh, B5 system stock on it. But in comparison, this is not the super lightweight model. No. So, I mean, 16 inch barrel. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with this one. Yeah. It's just not my baby. Fair enough. All right. So that wasn't your pick. But the SOW is, and why is that? Because it's just everything I need. <laughs> it's It I, really is, like it's, I don't know. It's just one of those things you pick up and you just know that it it was made for you or you were made for it, something <laughs> like that. I, maybe, I think maybe I was made for it. Fair enough. <laughs> Pretty sure they were made the way before. So the SOW stands for super lightweight. Yeah. And it is indeed lightweight. It does have a little bit thinner profile barrel. And I think that's something that you like quite a bit. You were able to get on target with this gun very quick. Right. Um, like I said, I've, I've been shooting a whole lot longer than you have, right? And I've been sending a lot of rounds downrange, running all these drills. And I was able to run that same drill at 1.49 seconds. Right, with my gun. With your gun. Yeah. And you were not far behind me and you don't run these drills all the time like I do. Or ever. Or ever, <laughs> hardly. So, we're getting there now. Oh yeah. But before now. <laughs> but I mean, you were barely over half a second, you know, uh, slower than me. But th I think that means quite a bit. And I think what we're gonna see is you progress even more and more and more. I hope so. To, w to where you might even begin to challenge me a little bit once you get a little bit more comfortable with the controls and con con comfortable he with your setup. probably it's, it's gonna happen. Ooh, I can't give you too much credit, all right? Okay. I didn't say it was going to be today, I didn't right. say it was tomorrow, but one day I'm going to get you. <laughs> Bring it. All right, so a couple of things <laughs> that I know you like quite a bit about this guy. 14 and a half inch barrel with the pendant weld uh, muzzle device, bringing you all the way out to 16 inches. So you're, that'll bring you to mostly the same barrel length as this guy right here. So the 16 inch here, and then you've got the 14.5, so you're about an inch and a half shorter than what this guy is. And I know you like that quite a bit because that does help um, a little bit with weight yeah. mitigation. Well, quite a bit in a mm -hmm. sense, especially since this one is more of a slimmer profile. Mm -hmm. And you also too have this guy set up with the vertical grip that it comes with in this position. And that's comfortable for you. That's been working for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why do you like this red dot? This is the uh, Aimpoint T2. I, I, I know what it is, Clint. I know that you know it's an Aimpoint mm -hmm. T2. Yeah. I'm just letting everybody else okay, know. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, why did you, because we tried out a bunch of different things. Yeah, and I said no to like all of them. <laughs> yeah, so why ultimately did you feel more comfortable with this optic? It was super easy for me to pick up on. Fair enough. And also too, if you guys have never seen the brightness settings on the Aimpoint T2, this thing oh, yeah. can go from super how do I say, like crystal clear reticle, very dim, to I'm gonna burn your retinas out, like that. That's true. So, and, and you have every other degree in there. In between. In between. So I, that completely makes sense. <laughs> and everything you need to actually make your adjustments are right on this guy any, anyway. So the cap actually has these two little teeth here that stick out and you can make your adjustments, your windage and your elevation with this guy. And we also have the Scalar Works mount on it because they just make solid mounts, okay? Um, now we did have your flashlight on up here, but we weren't really using it that much. We'll add it again uh, once we start getting you in some more low light stuff, but for the time being, I just want you to get really familiar with this as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have the B5 systems with the swinger uh, on this guy here. So the B5 system stock with the swinger, swinger mount from Tech 10 and the Tech 10 sling. And you've been liking this quite a bit as I well. I do, yeah. So ergonomics, comfortability, Ease of use as far as this guy goes to make it adjustable for you. Sweet, what else do you like about it? I don't know, what's not to like? I don't Fair know how enough. I'm supposed to explain everything. <laughs> Just like, it's great, okay? <laughs> End of story. Well, you haven't had any issues with it. <laughs> no, I haven't had any issues at all. Perfect, all right, so 14.5. Other five. than you scratched the side of it and that made me mad. Look, dude, it's a, it's, it's you a- You scratched it, we had a show. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's a gun. It's not a safe queen. You're taking it to the range, no, you're using but it. No, Clint scratched it. I let him take it to the range one day without me and it came back with a scratch on it. I'm supposed to scratch it, not you. I won't argue that. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so now we've got the Aero Precision M4E1 build that we did here. Right. 
I say build. We, we put an up and our lower together. Um, <laughs> but with this guy, you hold on to it. It's a 12 and a half inch mm -hmm. uh, aim point comp M5 on this guy. You said that you ultimately like this guy. Why? So I really love the handguard. It's actually really thin. And yeah. so you can actually, and it's light too. So you can yeah. wrap your entire hand around it and you get a good grip in this little fella here. Makes it where you don't slide. Oh, I got you. So okay. I like that they yeah. have like the, the ridges. Yeah, yeah, the ridges. So your hands just like because everyone knows my hands be sweating all the time. <laughs> I get so nervous and my hands just be sweating. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. You'll you'll get more comfortable. Don't worry. Uh, also, too, another thing to think about. What I like kind of about these rails mm -hmm. that don't have the Picatinny cut in here, uh, or they have it cut out. I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a, if you like to shoot like me and you do the entire thumb over bore setup here, right. you will initially. Well, I won't say initially, you will just naturally pick up in your sight picture, probably your thumb, mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit of it, which depending on what magnification you're at, if you're further, further zoomed out, then it won't really matter all that much. Mm -hmm. But it's something that happens. Now, granted, if you have this little bit of a divot without oh, yeah. the Picatinny. You're not going to be able to see anything. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. Well, Does well, it look I mean, okay? Yeah. 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 Maybe you want to try for yourself? Yeah, sure. Why not? So <laughs> I'm all about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't see, you don't anything, see anything in your sight picture. Yep. So fair enough. We got the... Uh, the Aimpoint Comp M5 on this guy, by the way. I know you know. Aimpoints are my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> They're solid. So what else about this guy are you a fan of? So it's got these big old hefty boys here. Uh, talking about it the makes it, Yeah, it makes it so much easier. I don't pinch my hand as much. I pinched my hand the other day and maybe. <laughs> on the charging handle? Yeah. Oh, I was goodness. on your mark. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> it would be doing me dirty. <laughs> Did it have the magnifier flip to the side and is that what? I don't remember. It Fair just enough. made me mad, okay? <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to make her it's a Mark 18 happen. advocate, but. It's not gonna happen. <sighs> Daniel makes great things, but no. Oh well. All right, so 12 and a half inch barrel mm -hmm. obviously is gonna be a little bit shorter. Um, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. And so again, these things I might make it a little bit more comfortable for you as the shooter. And awesome. I mean, other than the brace back here it's on fine. this guy. It's just the just the Velcro, we can fix yeah. it, it's fine. So ultimately at the end of the day, if you were to take, maybe not this guy, but all of these and put them together, you would probably come out somewhere with this guy here, your M4 V7 SLW. Yeah. So everything that you look for in a firearm is the, your, your biggest concern from what it seems like is definitely weight. Yeah, I just don't like toting around all the heavy things. All right, fair enough. Don't like toting around all the heavy things. I think that's why it drives me crazy that you put so many things on all of your guns because it just makes it so much heavier. And it really stresses me out. Because <laughs> like, hey, go get this. And I pick it up and I'm like, wow, why did I even go to the gym today if I was going to load the truck for Clint? So have at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just makes you tougher at the end of the day. Sure. Right? If you say so. <laughs> What's your they excuse? each serve a purpose, okay? Just like... If we're gonna talk about it, we may as well talk about it, right? Okay. Here we go. So here it is. Okay, this is Mark 18 pistol, our current giveaway. Okay. Oh. All right. Now, granted, is this heavier than all these guns probably combined? Yes, it is. Yes. But is it worth it? Absolutely. Because for one, it's going to one of you guys for free. But at the end of the day, this thing, they're, they're fine, man. It's okay. It's not as ugly as yours. It's not FD. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's not FD either. I just have a lot of FD it's crap on it. So FD, yeah, it's it's close enough. Okay, whatever. It's not black. I like. I honestly like the black one with all the gadgets and gizmos on it. All right. It's still a little much, but it's fine. Okay, so <laughs> what would be the first thing that you would remove from this gun if it was yours personally? Magnifier. Magnifier. Why? <laughs> because it's unnecessary. It is. It's just unnecessary. It's. it's but, but what if you're aiming at a target like 300 yards away and you need to be able to like positively identify that? It's, that's a bad guy, Katie. Clint, odds are you're going to be using a longer barrel. I'm not. Okay, fine. What's the next thing you'd remove? Uh. The, the IR, the laser. But what if you're shooting at night with night vision? Well. Oh, I thought you had a flashlight on here too. I, you do. <laughs> that's why. Because you don't need both. <laughs> Remember in, our, in one of our previous videos, I said one is none, two is one, three is fun, right? So, But they're heavy. <laughs> so what I'm getting at is though, you got to have multiple aiming systems because you never won't know when one might, when might fail. And we don't have iron sights. What you're trying to so, say you know, is you want excuses for when you miss. Wow. 
Because if it's just me, it's just me and my red dot. If I miss it, that's on me. <laughs> Whatever, dude. All right, fine. So Katie's not a big fan of the magnifier, the Peck 15 that's on I didn't, it. I'm not, a, I'm not a hater of each one of them. I just think all of them at one time is unnecessary. You don't even, <laughs> you don't even LARP, bro. Whatever. All right. So we all know, give me this. I don't deserve to hold this. So we all know that Katie's favorite <laughs> is her M4 V7 SLW. And it makes sense because at the end of the day, it's lightweight. You don't have all of the you don't have all the unnecessary stuff. You've got what you need and what you're most comfortable with, which is yep. the Aimpoint T2 and the Tech 10 Sling. Yep. You you are actually a fan of the B5 stock, so yes. Okay. Um, do you prefer the B5 like over the more the minimalist stock here? Mm, I'm not sure. I haven't had much experience with this one, so I don't know. Yeah. I might like this one. I mean, I do like it, but I don't know if I like it more or less. I would have to experience. Yeah out there and see how that really cool hits and yeah. go from there. Fair enough. Me personally, I personally again, I'm going to prefer the, the B5. I'm not always a big fan of the tail hook styles. Those are typically one of the ones that I immediately throw into the parts bin, replace. Uh, but that's just, again. I did personally. have that one catch on something earlier. So that's, so. yeah, if you're, if you're rocking a shirt pocket, yeah, you're just going to rip it right out. Yeah. But anyway, with all that being said, we know what Katie's preferred is. Now, what we want to hear, though, are from, uh, all of our other women mm -hmm. viewers out there, um, your the the husbands out there with that know exactly what their wives love to shoot. Sure, you can comment down below. Of course, uh, nothing's stopping you guys from leaving comments. Of course, we read them. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, uh, what do, what do you, a lot of you guys prefer? We're actually legitimately curious, and also too, Katie wants to shoot all the things, so uh, we need to figure out what to put in her hands next. And I want women's opinion because I feel like a lot of women are just like given a gun by some man and they're like, here, this is what you need. And like, like then a, it doesn't like, fit her hands. Like a pink or, 38 special? Listen, if that's what she wants, that's fine, but I think she needs to get out and experience with other things because Guys would just be like, oh, it's pretty, my wife will like this. And then he brings it home to her and it doesn't work for her at all. But she doesn't want to say that, so she just throws it in her purse and is like, oh, well, that's fine. I just don't like to carry on myself because she's not comfortable with it. So find something that she's comfortable with and let her choose. I don't know. I'm just, you do fine, but I'm just tired of men telling women what they need to carry or not carry. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know 100% what I need to do. That's why I'm trying to learn, but... In general, men, you can give your women ideas, but don't tell them what they need to do. And no, that's not it for me. This is how you know that Katie and I are, aren't actually married. Yes, among many other things. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it off there. Head on over to classicfirearms.com to get your entries in for the Mark 18 pistol, which is perfection. Uh, <laughs> okay. Obviously, it's a joke. Go watch our video and announcing this as our current giveaway. However, I do love the Mark 18. You guys know that. But is it the most ideal system? Don't get me Depends. wrong. I dog on it. But it's, it's still a good gun. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's a great gun. But at the same time, you know, the, like, for instance, if I'm going to be engaging out to distance, then, yeah, I'm going to want something with a longer barrel. I might, If I'm going to be shooting only in the daylight, then maybe I'll res remove the laser and the flashlight, okay? Maybe. You're not going to, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> But anyway, again, classicfirearms.com is where you can get your entries. Utilize the code word MK18 for obvious reasons. It's, if, you, if you need help spilling it, it's right, right there. That's just for you guys. All right, Katie, oh. <laughs> tell them all that we appreciate their business. Guys, we appreciate your business. Don't forget to go over and get your entries in and you can say it. God bless. We'll see you next time on ClassicFarms.com. <laughs>